Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from Vitacucci.com. We are talking about breakups for men, and the topic for this video is she keeps calling me. Very often, you will have an ex who is still invading your personal space, right? She decides to break up with you, and now instead of giving you space and letting you go on with your life, get over her, she keeps on calling you, wants to get together, she wants to share her new uh, relationship stories with you, this kind of thing. So what do you do, you know? <laughs> what is uh, the best strategy to apply in this type of situations? If she keeps calling you, starts uh, texting you or emailing you, what you have to do is set up a new set of boundaries. Okay, she's no longer your partner, right? She's no longer either your wife or your girlfriend. So it's very important that she learns how to respect your space. Now, sometimes simply telling her, please don't call back or don't email back. I need my own space. I need to, uh, to get on with my life um, might not be enough. She might still go ahead and do it. That's one possibility. Now, even telling her that might be very challenging because maybe you still have a, a bit of a crush on her. Maybe you're still in love with her. Maybe you still want to get together and you get the feeling that uh, interacting with her is still going to, um, you know, to give you a chance of eventually getting her back in, into your life. And uh, what I have to tell you it is that very often this is one of the key um, relationship uh, pitfalls you can, you can fall into, right? Uh, it's being in this kind of situation where you're still interacting with her, you still have hope that it will eventually bring you back together, but you realize also that she's already moving on with her life, she's eventually dating somebody else, so you end up being in a situation where you're totally trapped. And uh, the, the best uh, strategy in this situation is to take distance, really, is to make sure that your personal space is protected and that she's not invading your personal environment, you know, and your time. Uh, if you want to date other women, if you want to go on with your life and start dating, you know, eventually and, and uh, be in a new relationship, you need to have the space to do that. And if she is very present in your life, if she's still calling you every day or very frequently, if she's interacting, showing up in, at your place, uh, this doesn't give you the space to get on with your life. So you have to set up boundaries. And if telling her these things, you know, is not enough, if telling her, please don't call again, is not enough, then the next step is to start blocking her number, uh, you know, blocking her email address, blocking you, uh, blocking her in, uh, in your contact list, these kind of things. These are usually very drastic steps, but most of the times I think that simply telling her uh, to respect your space is going to be enough. And uh, I'm totally aware that it's not an easy step to take, right? Setting up boundaries with an ex-girlfriend is sometimes something challenging because every time she comes into your life, she still, you know, you still f have feelings and it's, uh, it's something you want to, to believe in. But at the same time, you have to realize as well that you need to, uh, to, uh, to give yourself the space to invite somebody new into your life. And if uh, it's uh, your ex-girlfriend who you relate the most, the woman uh, to who you relate, relate the most, this is going to keep you hooked, keep you stacked on, on the past. So it's something which is very important for you to understand. If you want to move on with your life, you have to put her aside at least for a while. Don't focus on building an active friendship with her. Uh, simply stay in uh, diplomatic, respectful terms with her, but at the same time, don't engage into having uh, too frequent interaction with her. What is the limit? I mean, maybe one contact once a week, eventually maybe even even less. I would say that's that's the maximum usually with uh, with an ex-girlfriend, especially if you want to start dating other women. Okay. Um, is there something else to, to say about this? Uh, yeah, there is another point which is, uh, which is important. It is that when she keeps calling you and she's already dating somebody else, most of the times what happens is that she has a few options, right? Her attention and her mind is already divided between you and maybe somebody else she's dating. Sometimes it will be uh, even more options than that. It will be maybe two or three guys she has an eye on and she's thinking of dating. So in your life, most of the times, what, what tends to happen is that you will be still totally focused on her and she's your only option, whereas she is already, uh, her, her energy is already divided and already invested into other directions. So you realize that when you keep investing your time, energy, and life into her, you know, uh, needing her for uh, emotional validation, support, these kind of things, 
then you end up losing because you give her much more attention and much more energy than what you get back from her. This is the, the key uh, power dynamic uh, reality that you have to understand when she's already engaged into other relationships. It is that you end up giving her much more than what you get back, than what you get back because her uh, emotions, her energy is already divided between you and other men. Okay, hope this makes sense, you take care and uh, I'll be back soon with more videos. Take care, bye-bye.